yep. uh, as we hop into the game here. Yep, and there was a jet, by the way. Just want to point it out. Bravo 5, he's flying in the jet. We got to show that first person jet gameplay. So there you see it, guys, right there in all its glory. A moment of silence for the jet. All right, that's it. So now uh, there you can see actually what he has equipped on the jet as well, which is pretty cool in the third person view. And uh, yeah, I'd say he's gonna do a little, little, little flip here, a little flippity flip. Do a barrel roll. I guess not, okay. This guy's gonna come and he's gonna, he's gonna tear someone apart. Yeah, he's gonna be pushing in here now. Again, he's gonna be flying the J-20 is on the Chinese side. Wow, yep, and uh, uh, and another cool thing, actually, that uh, my favorite, I was talking about it before, but, you know, there's just a lot of different little uh, things that you can toggle in and out, like, you know, the Alpha and Bravo stuff. If you don't want to have it there, you can actually toggle that out, which is pretty cool, too. So, uh, but, you know, for the sake of this, we want to see who's doing really well. And on the uh, blue team, Delta Squad's actually doing quite solid. They're right now sitting 13 and 3 deaths. On the other side, though, Delta Squad, of course, on, on the gold team, they're doing well, too, at 12 and, 12 and 9. So, overall, you can get an idea of what squad's performing, what squad is really helping out here. But uh, And my, I, I was actually following the jet guy. He ended up getting taken out. He took care of that one, Corey. <laughs> well, who are you looking at right now? We're taking a look here at uh, Alpha 10. He's currently 10 and 1 overall. What? This guy's a beast. Which is probably the reason why chilling in this uh in this in this boat right now it's just it's well, like, again one of the things that lars and i discussed is, is how effective is the amphibious vehicles really going to be in this game yep and uh so just kind of looking at it i mean it's look at this it's definitely efficient uh, you can see how they're just kind of going from beach to beach and you realize hey being shot at and if you didn't see there at e3 for siege of shanghai uh, <laughs> one of the quickest ways to exit out well, yeah, it's a jet ski. Yeah, without a doubt. That is so cool, man. It just I, I still brings a smile to my face every time I see it. Um, but yeah, and uh, another uh, you know cool thing that I'm seeing here as well in the third person view of uh, uh, Alpha 10 is the movement, right? So like when his legs move, it, they really are like reacting uh, to the environment as opposed to just being like static, you know, like uh, just movements in general. It kind of has like a really good touch to it. That, that's just something I pointed out or something I noticed. but. Yeah, actually, Alpha 10's uh, using a, a sniper rifle. Uh, he's actually using the CSLR-4, but you're taking a look at someone in the Z1W, or excuse me, Z11W, that is Bravo 20, taking a, taking some fire here. He's in a little bird, seeing if, uh, see if he can pick up a kill here. He's it. So far, Bravo 20. Bravo 20. He actually is zero and zero. Yes. He's not doing, he's not doing too well, but he's, not kill oh crap did you see that <laughs> the jet plane just flew into the helicopter nice that was awesome let's go and hop on board here that was so cool Corey just laughs at me like don't laugh at me man i that was awesome that was amazing get a perspective and see how well alpha 13 can do here so far alpha 13 he is one and oh as you can take a look here at your lower third one and oh 20 millimeter uh, cannon, heat seekers, gyro stabilizer, infrared flares, or IR flares. Uh, oh, this guy is got good. a lot of great control too. Yeah, he actually. I'm looking at his first person view. I thought he was gonna dive into the uh, dive into the water there, but he managed to stay alive. So that was definitely pretty sick. And. You know, I, I do like the, uh, you know, because I'm not much of the, uh, if, if I get into a plane, I, I die, period. I mean, that's just usually what ends up happening. But this guy seems to just have some stupendous control of this particular uh, vessel right now. Like, he's just, you, you know, and, and that's the thing, right? When you have a good pilot, they really do change the map. And there you can see the dynamic weather effects now coming into place here as uh, it's all getting all over his, uh, his his window as well. So that's the other thing, right? It, I mean, I don't think it's gonna block its view all that much, but it's just those like little tiny effects that you can see there. So that certainly is pretty cool. And look at that. He's shooting at the uh, shooting at the windmill. And again, uh, one of the things you'd mention as uh, time wears goes through, uh, you can see that uh, this windmill is starting to fall. That jet's actually trying to help it. Uh, but uh, now as the time is continuing to pass. Here we go. This windmill will continue to fall little by little. And then that ship will be released. It's still afloat, so still effective here. 
Yeah, and also the water effects, uh, you know, do impact uh, boats as well, if I'm correct, because the big waves that flow around through the island, if you're trying to, you know, get good maneuvering, if you have these big waves coming through, it, so it impacts the map, you know, in more ways than one, you know, besides just this really cool evolution effect that goes down, also just using the map itself. If you want to jet ski your way out of there, you might have to wrestle with some pretty aggressive waters because of the rainstorm. So lots of cool things there to soak in for sure. And there you can see actually E, which is a shipwreck. That's staying right there. That's not going to move. It's the boat that's right in front of you. That's the one that uh, as soon as uh, this windmill does go down, and actually it should be happening any second. There you see it right there. And now the boat makes its way in. Just, there you go. You got to get cinematic with it, Corey. Oh, yeah, so you can take a look at exactly where it's going to go. We'll turn on just for a moment so you can know exactly where it's going to end up going towards the sea point, the Firebase Island. And it's just cruising. We have lost objective and it's intense, man, because like I actually was playing on sea on the Firebase Island when the boat crashed in. And there you can see the boat now moving in. And look, see, imagine being right there as this boat makes its way in, like being toward the side of it. It really does change a lot. And you see how the building just comes crumbling down after getting hit by a ship. Who'd have thunk? Who'd have thunk it, you know? So now this changes the map, right? This one guy is like, holy crap, a boat just landed right on the island. What am I going to do? Well, there's something on the boat. And actually, Corey, why don't you tell people how this actually impacts the fire, uh, Firebase Island? Yeah, so uh, I haven't had the chance to really see exactly uh, see it being used yet, but it's uh, it's one of the things that the commander has the ability to use. Uh, so it, again, it just changes there for the game. So again, we just saw uh, the ship go from that windmill way out in the distance to this point right here, which in the beginning, it just looked like it was a part of the background. Yeah. Just extra element in the game that just makes it look prettier. But in all, uh, in all, just looking at it now, it's actually a part of the game. It's part of the Levolution here. That's right. And you also gain access to an anti-air gun as well uh, through the boat. So that's a pretty big, big change there. That's, uh, there you can see right there, that anti-air gun. You get access to it, but you have to control the island. You have to control C in order for you to, to access it. Again, it's a commander feature. We haven't really seen it used just yet. But uh, it is a commander feature. You have to have that control, and it is awesome. So, uh, just like in the way uh, you know, in the in the last uh, you know, Siege of Shanghai, the way that it really changed the map. This one also changes the map because it also blocks off uh, this portion of the map here because the the seaside it blocks it off uh, quite a bit here from uh, from incoming fire from B. So that does change the element of the map and, and makes it uh, rather different, which is pretty cool. I believe it's I believe it's B that it, it, that the shots come down from. Yeah, it's B. So again, lots of cool stuff there. Take a look here. You can see that these players are going to be up here on top of the roof uh -oh. of that broken building. They've actually given a lot of cover fire for their teammates, just trying to clear out that C the point. Below them too. And uh, the, there is a player that you mentioned that is right below them that actually may be taken out here in just a moment. Again, there's just this nice little firefight action that's happening here. Um, and they have, I think maybe that player might actually be stuck inside of the building. No, yeah, no, actually, they, finally, they, no, they went after him. him. They chased him down, and uh, they saw that he was there. He popped up and went for the kill. So good stuff there by that crew. C now completely in the control of the blue team as uh, D, which is going to be right across from them. That has uh, still some... Still some players on uh, on gold team that are trying to hold it down. Yeah, so the Chinese again having uh, control now. If we take a look at the overview, you can see that you've got uh, currently the A, uh, B is contested. Currently C belongs to, so A and C belong to the Russians. And then uh, D and E belong to the Chinese. As we just kind of take a look at the overall, we'll go ahead and hop back in here with Alpha 13. Uh, who's going to be the pilot here for this jet? Again, for those of you that are curious, it's called the SU-50. Uh, this is his current setup. He's got the gyro stabilizer. Uh, currently 2-0 right now. We'll go nice. back into first person uh, perspective here. You can see just trying to uh, dive in and pick up a couple kills before he bails out of there. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you are when you have a jet, you, you are pretty much a target in the sky there, especially for any air uh, weaponry, just like what we saw there on sea. But fortunately for them, they do control that. So now a lot of pressure is going to be applied here on the east side shipwreck as uh, 
this guy out from 13 is going to have to drop back and get a get another good pass on it again which it seems like he was going to try and get um there you can see the other carrier that's where the russian uh team spawns the blue team they end up, they end up spawning in that area but yeah now, who are you taking a look at now Corey? now we hop on board here with alpha 20 which is currently uh, in this anti-air oh nice actually see this here so yeah he's actually going to be in the uh 9 9k 22 tungsten tung or oh, tunguska tunguska there you go tunguska am say that five times fast for you i dare you You'll not gonna happen to. there you go right and now, <laughs> right now we've got chinese leading 508 to 426 tickets of course we're playing conquest tomorrow we'll get a chance to look at uh, obliteration that's right uh, which we have uh, both teams have three points uh, three points that they need to defend and uh, there's a bomb, just a randomized bomb that's laid out there. You take that bomb to an MCOM point, the opposing uh, team's MCOM point. You blow that up. There's three of them, so you do that three times. Yep, it's, uh, that's going to be pretty cool to watch. Of course, that's something new. And we are going to get uh, some great opportunities to talk about other uh, features in Battlefield 4 as well. So I'm really stoked about that. That's going to be in the later days of this, uh, of this show that we're doing here for you find people in gamescom and of course watching at home on twitch tv once again guys if you want to get social about it talk to us on reddit i'm on reddit started a thread on there our battlefield where i'm talking uh, to some of you guys to or, or trying to get feedback from you guys to you know find out what new things you guys want us to cover because again just like we did at e3 we're going to do it here again for you all back at home and then for people in gamescom they're just running around doing anything i mean i've been seeing people just randomizing so many different uh, gun just testing things out what works what doesn't work. It's pretty cool. Well here everything is unlocked. Yes Everything that's what's so awesome about uh, it. And, and uh, the camos too. the camos for everything Every camo there's, is unlocked. Guys, there's a lot of camos. There's there, there has to be at least like 20 camos At least no, 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 no really a Am lot more than that. Okay you're, uh, At least I would go with the number more like like 40 there's, 40. Like, it, it, there's, there's camos for everything. You want yeah. to camouflage your tank, go ahead and do that. Sure, why not? Your helicopter? Yeah, give it a paint job. That sounds good, too. Every Sick. single one of your guns? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll make a change to it. You know, that, that tiger, that uh, crimson tiger looks good on it. We'll go ahead and put that on there. You know, all <laughs> these different things. Have a field day with it. Yeah.